This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Meet the new jet that has America very afraid. Able to fly further than the F-35, reach Mach 1.8 without afterburners, and can even be remotely controlled by an AI pilot, on paper, this new concept stealth jet is deliciously impressive. On paper, that is. As many might know, the journey from concept to creation is filled with turbulence. Is this jet the future of Russia's Air Force, ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of the USA, or an experimental dead end? It's time to reset the board as the Su-75 has made it checkmate. The Cold War of the 20th century between the United States and the then Soviet Union might be over, but a 21st century arms race continues at full speed ahead between the United States and the Russian Federation. The latter, now depleted of all its former Soviet republics, continues to be a thorn in the side of America's military aviation industry and its allies. It's not by chance that Russia continues to use its famous May Day celebrations to show off its military might and hardware, such as the Soviets did back during the USSR days. Like any military power, Russia makes big song and dance of the unveiling of any new aircraft. Such was the case with its new fighter jet that many aviation experts believe will be a direct competitor to the US's F-35 superiority fighter. The plane comes with not one, but two catchy nicknames, namely the Sukhoi LTS Screamer or the LTS Sukhoi Checkmate. The Russians rather wirily, refer to it simply as the checkmate. Let's not forget that Russians are chess masters bar none, so a plane dubbed that does command some of my attention. Let's get the obvious out of the way first. Many have noted how the Sukhoi LTS checkmate looks a lot like the Lockheed Martin made F-35 stealth fighter. Similarities between Russia's Checkmate and America's F-35 are particularly stark design-wise. For example, like the F-35, the Russian Checkmate includes widely splayed split-angled tails, a narrow fuselage that houses a single engine, and large wings that are somewhat diamond-shaped. However, rather than being a case of Checkmate being a copy of the F-35, these similarities shouldn't be too surprising. After all, any stealth aircraft is fundamentally constrained by the aerodynamic limitations imposed by having stealth features. One can only defy physics so much. Further design features of the Checkmate include its cropped delta wing and movable fins that act as rudivators, which provide control on both the pitch and your axes. Sharp-eyed analysts felt its most striking feature is its intake, designed as a chin inlet slung under and wrapped around the lower fuselage, but with a still flat underside. The size of its wings suggests that the plane could climb to 40,000 feet or higher, but of course, being a secret project, we don't know yet for sure. Weapons bays for two short-range air-to-air missiles are found on either side of the fuselage, and a capacity for three longer-range weapons carried in the lower bay as well as an internal gun. The Checkmate can also carry weapons on the external pylons for missions not requiring stealth, with the internal weapons bay is designed to carry both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground ordnance, including both infrared, radar-guided air-to-air, air-to-ground and anti-ship missiles, guided and unguided bombs, and unguided rockets. So it's pretty easy to say that this aircraft has weapons to spare. In terms of weight, the plane's maximum combat load is 7.4 tons, which includes a range of air-to-surface weaponry with a maximum takeoff weight or MTO of approximately 18 tons. As for speed, there are claims that the plane can reach Mach 1.8 and fly supersonically without the use of an afterburner, with an 8G maneuvering rate. 
Its power plant would probably be the same engine used to power the Su-57 Twinjet. Other features of the plane heralded by the builders, Rostec, include that it will feature artificial intelligence, or AI, in some capacity. Although to what extent and to what end that AI will be used in the aircraft remains, for now, unknown. However, AI will no doubt be used for the plane's voice control technology. Speaking of AI, a spokesperson has also said that both a twin-seat manned version and an unmanned version of the Checkmate are being considered for development. Leaving us to wonder if the future of Russia's Air Force will be metal pilots. It's this kind of reimagining of fighter jets that makes what we have today look old-fashioned. Speaking of old-fashioned, when was the last time innovation came to your pocket? Today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet, is changing the game with their cutting edge wallet concept. It can stack at least 12 cards and cash, believe me I tried, durable like the SU-75 and honestly feels great. Compared to a bulky wallet or purse, it's a no-brainer how much better this is. Smaller, sleeker and doesn't have that ugly shape when I put it in the front pocket of my jeans. My favourite one is the carbon fibre, but they also have a burnt titanium, the same as the SR-71. With every dollar spent on the website before September 18th, you'll be entered into and win an off-road optimised convertible 2020 Jeep Gladiator, or 50k if you prefer cold hard cash. Check them out here, ridge.com slash FNE. Use the code FNE for 10% off your order. Anyway, back to the show. It's been commentated that the launch of the new Sukhoi LTS Checkmate was probably the loudest way to announce a new stealth aircraft. Every year, Russia hosts what is called the MAKS Show, standing for the International Aviation and Space Show, which is an air show held at the Zhukovsky International Airport. Various Tupolev, Ilyshin and other planes, both military and commercial, have been tested at the airport and its place in the sortied history of Russian aviation and space exploration makes it an ideal venue for this event. In attendance at the 2021 show were 831 companies from 56 countries. So what I'm getting at is that this is the show for Russian aviation. And it was at this event on July 20th, 2021, that the new Russian jet was unveiled with much prompt and very loud music. The plane is designed by Rostec, a defense giant that is a subsidiary of the Russian conglomerate, United Aircraft Corporation. According to the Associated Press, Rostec boasted about its new aircraft prior to the July 20th launch as being a fundamentally new military aircraft, and further stated how it had been produced in what they call one of the few countries in the world with a full cycle capacity for producing advanced aircraft systems, as well as recognized trendsetter in the creation of combat aircraft. As an interesting side note, this same company did also announce hydrogen-powered engines for both aviation and ground applications, which I think we can agree needs its own video. Yet while it might be easy to show off a new fighter jet concept, can Russia actually afford this new creation? It's worth noting that jets with twin engines, such as America's F-22 or Russia's Su-57, may allow for greater speed and reliability, but they're also much more expensive and heavier, which in turn means that they're more thirsty for fuel. Twin-engine fighter jets also tend to be more complex and thus expensive in terms of maintenance. So a single-engine jet such as the Checkmate should be less expensive in terms of purchase, fuel and maintenance costs. Nevertheless, it doesn't mean that Checkmate is a cheap plane. According to the CEO of the project, a Checkmate will set back a buyer around 25 to 30 million. However, and this is of critical importance in the global aviation stakes, the Checkmate is a lot cheaper than the F-35, which was selling around 78 million a jet as of 2020. Far more countries worldwide will be able to spend around 30 million for a fighter jet than the mere handful that can afford to fork out the 78 million per F-35 bought from America. 
so you can start to see that the economics make sense. It is known that should the checkmate be produced, the Russians will be depending heavily on foreign sales to make the plane financially viable. And that brings us back to the launch party and explains why they had such a flashy big event and had a video released on YouTube to promote the checkmate prior to its launch, featuring pilots from the air forces of potential client countries such as the United Arab Emirates, India, Vietnam and Argentina. Those are the types of countries that the Russians will be betting will want to buy their own Sukhoi LTS checkmate for their Air Force collections. A further boost to the sales of the checkmate could be that the new plane has a planned combat radius of 930 miles or 1,496 kilometers, which is about 250 miles or 402 kilometers farther than the F-35 can travel at its least heavy weight. It's true that external fuel tanks can increase the range of the F-35, but that makes the plane less stealthy, and that, in turn, means that the Checkmate would essentially be in a class of its own when it comes to stealth fighter jets. So perhaps cost will be the ultimate Checkmate move of this Sukhoi LTS. Not surprisingly, many Western aviation pundits were quick to point out that the Sukhoi LTS is only a prototype, potentially far from being mass-produced fighter jet ready for international sales. Experts at the show noted a lack of wiring and hydraulic lines within the visible parts of the main landing gear, and other telltale signs that indicated what was being launched was only a mock-up rather than an actual flight-ready aircraft. However, it's worth mentioning that Rostec themselves have confidently claimed that the checkmate will be ready soon for test flights. Whether that was actually true or merely wishful thinking by the Russian aviation company is yet to be known. Rostec remains confident that the Chetmake's first flight is scheduled for 2023 with deliveries earmarked to clients by 2027. But some critics have been quick to mention that the F-35 itself took nearly two decades between its concept and production. But using the F-35 as a yardstick is just about the worst analogy possible, given that aircraft's farciful history. In fact, for the sake of context, let's take a quick step back in time to look at the F-35 project. The Pentagon had decided to replace the very successful yet aging F-16 fighter of which 4,600 had then been built by General Dynamics since the mid-1970s. And the F-16 was a great jet. It was super easy to operate, easy to maintain, and could fly at twice the speed of sound, carrying 15 different bombs, including two nuclear weapons. It could do even more, shoot down enemy aircraft with five different varieties of air-to-air -air missiles, and wipe out ground targets with four different air-to-ground missiles. It was a super versatile, all-out killing machine. And then came along, or rather blundered in, is the F-35. The F-35 cannot fly at twice the speed of sound. In fact, its supersonic flight mode on the control panel carries an ominous warning for emergency use only. The F-35 designers also opted for a touchscreen switches rather than the usual toggles or rocker switches that pilots usually use. A very well and modern dandy, except that touchscreen switches don't function 20% of the time, which is somewhat problematic for fighter pilots in the middle of a dogfight. The list of flaws on the F-35 goes on and on, including the heat coating on its engine rotor blades failing so often that literally 5-6% to of the entire worldwide F-35 fleet is grounded due to safety concerns at any one time. Even more scary is the bubble shield of the fighter jet that starts to delaminate in mid-flight, which is beyond dangerous. The development of the F-35 has been an unmitigated disaster, which is why even a prototype Russian stealth fighter jet, even if far from being ready for production, is still a big worry to the bigwigs at the Pentagon. 
As noted, Rostec has set itself the deadline of 2023 for the first test flight and 2027 for rollout of the Sukhoi LTS Checkmate. Any aviation expert will tell you that these are highly ambitious target dates for a plane of this magnitude and cost. However, there is no denying that the Russian plane has some strong selling points, most notably its relatively low cost as a stealth fighter jet. Whether the Sukhoi LTS would achieve a checkmate in its aviation class is yet to be seen. If you liked my little deep dive into the Russian aviation industry today, then I suggest you subscribe because I'm at actually 99 videos on the channel. So I'm planning to put something rather special together this week for my 100th video that you can watch straight after this. Or if you can't wait, jump onto my Patreon right now where you can see videos early, come up with ideas for future videos and chat directly to me in the Discord. Plus, I don't need to mention that you also get your lovely name put right here in the credits. So thanks again so much for watching.